Hello and welcome to the GTT CC Season 18 of the Pro AM League Race 1 and I'll just go through the field for you we'll start with Blackie at the front looks like an Alpha next we have P1's boss we have Pilgrim it looks like the McLaren next we have a return which is a Mini 975 he's raced I think the first five seasons so he's uh, he's returned and he's back and he's on third next is a uh, space cowboy using the GTR a new driver welcome mate a veteran of the GTTCC which is Mark in a Lambo so we've got another Lambo which is tied free which is James he's returning new driver in the Subaru paddle shifter welcome mate we've got another new driver which is Jacksonville in a Lexus nice delivery mate next up in the Lambo my 18th season on the trot is me and then we got P1 Poo, uh, Wound Raider, which I don't think he's raced with us before. But he's in the trophy. And we got Insanity, another new driver. In a very nice looking Mustang. You've got to love the look of the Mustang. Now we've got another Lambo, Moly returning. Extusion driver, this one. Another returning driver, my old teammate. Busby boy and that is another Lambo so it does look like a lot of people using the Lambos and then we got another returning driver racing hammer I don't think he's raced with us for 10 seasons so welcome back mate and then finally in another Lambo we got Balstonovic right so I'll tell you what we'll start with Balstonovic but I just want to point out actually we're going to start with me just so you can see what a donut I am. Look what gear I'm in, I'm in to start off with. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out what was going wrong. There we go, I've clicked. Right, so we're, we're with Moly. And oh, a few people have got this corner wrong. It's a, a tough corner and with the lag. You know, it's uh, it's really difficult for drivers, but most have gone through. So let's see who's in the lead. And it's Black in Pilgrim. They've already got a massive lead. Alpha's looking pretty quick on here. It's nice to have a P1 driver using MRC colours. Cheers, mate. All right, and third, we've still got Tired Flea in the Lambo P1 Wind Raider he has gone up I think he started in 7th for the grid so good start by him yep Mark I think he's moved up a few places as well I know I've moved up quite a bit for my terrible start we've got Space Cowboy Moly Racing Hammer Mini paddle shifter Busby boy looks like he's had a bit of a bad start he might have been in that um, incident at the beginning same with Jacksonville Insanity and 14th and Balston I think at the rear so we go back to the front and looks like Mark's got a penalty which is just going to allow Pilgrim to take the lead God, that's a massive gap what's the it's been a while since I've done this so I thought you could see the differences in times you might not be able to do it on this one but go from tired flea's point of view yeah he's I think he's gained a bit of ground on them maybe because of Mark's penalty and then oh I've moved up into fourth working my way through the field alright so it looks like we've got a bit of a battle on here 
four cars, so let's start with him. Oh, Moly's just gone a bit wide there, so Mini's working his way up. Oh, this lag's awful, isn't it? They've got to sort it out. Now, is he going to go for a cutback? No, he's, he's just going to go straight around the outside. Very nicely done. Oh, Moly's got a penalty. Alright, so... Room Raiders going on the inside, maybe. It's a tough corner to overtake on. I think he's going to do it. No. Molly's just closed the door. Oh man, this is doing my eyes in. You can just see like the lags, or like people's people jumping, and it's 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 no one's fault because everyone's got half decent connection. So let's have a, let's uh, watch some of the new drivers. So we've got paddle shifter in the Subaru. And they're going to get into ninth. And Moly gets his penalty on this straight. Not, no one attacking them. Might, because I don't think the trophy's got a good top end. So paddle shifter might have an opportunity on this first corner for the overtake. Nah, it's, it's too far away. Too far away. Nah. But that mistake has got another new driver, Jacksonville. <coughs> it's caught up some ground. Yeah, racing hammer is a bit too far away. Actually, it looks like a lot of. Ah, oh, sorry. Looking at the map, it looked like there was um, a lot going on. So let's go to the leaders. So we got the P1 boss. Very nice livery, mate. He's in the lead and he's probably a few seconds ahead of Mark now. And Mark looks a few seconds ahead of Tire Tree, who's a few seconds ahead of me. Oh, so we've got a bit of a battle here. We've got Mark and Mini. Can he get a good run up on Oh, Mark's got a penalty, so Mini is going to take this position. Actually, no, it's, it's going to have to wait a lap to get rid of that penalty because it's not. He must have just done it. Now, is Mini going to go for the overtake? I think he's in a good spot for it, but Mark's defending. Maybe a cutback? Oh, late breaking, late breaking. They're still side by side. I don't know. I think one of them is going to have to pull out for this corner. You can't go too wide in this one very well. But yeah, he's done it. <laughs> nice overtake there, mate. All right. We have got a four-way battle here. So Jack... Oh, let's watch that because... One, two... Oh! I'm glad I went back for this. Right, so let's let's go back to the straight. So we we've got three wide here, and they're catching up Wound Rager in the trophy because it's not got a good top end. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Old Spanish Cowboy has got his hazards on. He's broke really early to avoid anything. Jacksonville. Oh, he's oh they've all kind of overshot it, but Jacksonville gets the uh, best of it and he moves up three place in places. You should have entered that into overtake of the week, mate. Space Cowboy. He's still got his hazards on. <laughs> so nice livery, James. But yeah, he's 
Space Cowboys lost a bit of ground there. Oh! I've just noticed the tyres. I think, yeah. Space Cowboys Ricky. And he started to race on wets by accident. But wow. That wear is awful. Wow. Okay, so is anyone else on wets? Yeah, Busby Boys is on wets. That's why he's behind. Same with Insanity. Moldy's on hards. Oh, people are starting to come into the pit, so that only means that it is starting to rain. Yeah, Tired Flea, I think he's gone in. Oh, nicely done there. Yeah, Minnie's gone in. Mark, is Paddle Shifter going to stay out? It's not raining yet. If you look at the bottom left hand corner, where you, just to the left of where it's uh, got your tyre wear, it shows you sort of like the depths of the rain and like the first bar you can get away with using your normal racing tyres but in between is best for intermediates and then your top ones you need your wets oh nice overtake I tell you what this Jacksonville is looking quite a oh he's looking quite a decent driver so he's actually gained two positions he's oh I thought he late break him but no that was perfect well done you mate, well done you. So Pilgrim's on wet, so yeah see that bar now? It's slowly rising up so these guys aren't going to have too many issues until it kind of hits that first bar. So he'll probably gain ground on P-Run, Pilgrim. Guy's it's chucking it down now. How can you see inside, look at that. Yeah, so now these tyres are going to struggle. So he's on wets. Has anyone chosen intermediates? Blackie's on wets. Racing them hasn't pitted yet. So yeah, Space Cowboy's on wets. Oh wow, I'm on wets. Tired Flea's on wets. Ah, that's it, yeah, Tide Flea's behind me now because he's filled up his car with fuel. Oh no, yes. <laughs> this is what happens when you drive without wets on. Oh, Tide Flea's gone for intermediates as well, so... Yeah, it's just uncontrollable. It is uncontrollable. It's hard enough on wets. Is he? I think he might have to pit because look at the tyre wear. There's like nothing there. Yeah, he's he's going over. <coughs> yep. So, well, I had a three-second penalty for the uh, the pit lane penalty, and so did tyre flee. So. It's going to be interesting because I'm on wets and he's on intermediates and that line is just just on the border of both so be interesting back with these two right Ma he's on wets oh and Busby he's done well with his tyres because the other guy with wet tyres is completely worn so so it seems like a good tactic by uh, Craig but I don't know if he's going to have to pit for fuel. Right. My oh he's gone off. It's so difficult to drive in rain. So sorry for everyone, your first race in the wet. <laughs> right, some minis in seventh. Space Cowboy still got his hazards on. Extra lights to show people where he is. Paddle shifter, it's coming out the pits on wets. Should have a bit more control now. Moly is on wets. Oh, yeah, oh, pit lane penalty catches you out. Caught me out, mate. Jacksonville, is, they've all dropped a lot of positions because staying on the racing tyres rather than wets. 
Okay, so let's go to the front. Pilgrim's got a massive lead. Seconds only just coming around the corner now. Yeah, it's got to be about eight seconds, hasn't it? So yeah, Mark's on his own second. <clears throat> Starting to pull away a little bit from Tide Flea just because of my wets and these intermediates and as you can see bottom left it is on the wets at the moment All right. next we have Mark God, it's Lambo 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 and uh, yeah he's quite a distance away from fourth as well sorry I've got my legs tangled down with the wires Busby boy, he's not pitted yet, but well, he's doing all right. He's, he's front left, front right. No, it's front left and back left seem quite worn, but it should be good for a few more laps. Oh, Mini, <laughs> what's Mini done? No one behind him, he might hold this position. Oh, he's just turned while braking. <coughs> oh, he didn't he avoided the barrier so he didn't get the damage. But Space Cowboy is gonna take him. Right. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to find where uh, there's some battling going on, it's quite quite distant says Moly he's got paddle shifter just behind him and then we got I think we made just just got rid of his pit lane penalty so that gives Jacksonville 11th space oh he got caught out by it as well <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> insanity's there and then we're back to the leader Pilgrim so it does there's not much action to go on at the moment guys so let's just go through and see if, who's got wet so wets wets intermediates wets 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 <coughs> so yeah it is just tired flea that has chose the intermediates and oh a s two and a half seconds slumber a fast lap yeah so he's he's about two and a half seconds slower but if that drops and they soon start making uh, ground on third place Busby boy has overtaken Mark when was that one two three There we go, so Mark's in front. Oh, Mark's overcooked it. Oh, all right, so it's resetted him on the track. He's not going to lose any more. All right, so let's just go forward a little bit. Yeah, the rain does. Uh, spread the field out unfortunately they're all just trying to get a lap together drive smooth and stay on track really oh it's, it's for the battle for 13th place I think that's just because Pilgrim is just yeah they've just slowed down to let Pilgrim go so, so there's Mark Let's do a lap with Mark, shall we? I'll tell you what, this third part of the track, I think I hate it more than Mount uh, Paramount Barfer, sorry. It is so difficult to try and get a decent line through there. Especially in the wet. God, look at this. That corner you usually can go about 80 miles per hour rounds, but it's like he's close to 40 on there with the wet. 
And it doesn't look like the rain's stopping, so... I think... Good for third place at the moment. Oh, Mark's re over to... Whenever I say there's nothing going on, you guys... There we go, so what's happened, so... Oh, that is a nice... Nice overtake. Got on the inside. You should send these in, guys. Is Busby going to go through the cutback? No, I think he's, his tyres have worn too much. But Lambo in set and third, fourth, fifth, and sixth seems like a decent car in the weather, wet weather. But more importantly, right, yeah. So okay, so that's another right. So up, so tenth, ninth, eighth, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, and third, all in four-wheel drive vehicles. And the two top two, not in four-wheel drive vehicles, are going quicker. So well done, boys. I don't know if it's a your driving skill or just a little glitching GT7. But you both, yeah, you two o fives. No, two o. You both done two o fours, two o fives. Two o five and a half. Just barely two o fives. Oh, Mark. That's a nice lap. 204. Yeah, so... Fair play, guys. Right, so let's go through the field again. Hopefully we'll catch some action. So we've got... P1 Boss. Pilgrim. That looks like a 15-second lead. He is flying. Next up, we've got Blackie. In the Alpha. Next up, we've got me in the Lambo, in third. Next up, Tired Flea, still holding on in those intermediates. He's, I don't think, I think, still think there's about a three, four second gap between him and third place. We have Ma in fifth. Up close behind him is Space Cowboy, who's overtaken. Oh, he hasn't. That is nice. Okay, let's get a good view for that. So he's got a good run out of that corner. And he goes around the outside. That's very brave. Very brave. Nice. See, these overtakes you've got to send in, guys. They're really good. So, Busby Boy's gone into 7th now. I think that tyre wears. It's just affecting him now. And then next up, we got Mini. He's uh, he's closed that gap. Looks like it could be a decent battle for 6th place here. Molly. It looks like he's about 10 seconds in front and 10 seconds behind. He's on his own. He's just he's doing some good times. 2.03. 0.729 that is a lot quicker than anyone else's lap times in the wets he's just show, showing you that fusion experience that he has that's a great time though so he is catching up with Mini with those lap times but that's a big gap to try and catch up we've got Paddle Shifter Quite. Again, it's not really much happening with paddle shifter. It's just pushing and pushing. We got Jacksonville and the Lexus, closely followed by a Room Raider. Oh no! <laughs> Damage as well. 
No, guys, if, you, if you're driving in wet weather and you're struggling, you stick some TCs on, it does help. I have to have it on. Alright, in 13th we've got Insanity. Followed by Racing Hammer. Let's do a lap with Pilgrim, shall we? It is, it is the McLaren, isn't it? I think. Yeah, the McLaren. Only one in this league, in this division, to pick the McLaren. And it seems like a very, very good choice. Oh, I hate this corner. It's such a pain. I'm wondering if you've got enough... Oh, I remember now. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm wondering if he's got enough fuel. Because everyone else seems to have quite a lot. Alright, let's do a lap with, Dan with Pilgrim. So he can show us how it's done. No, it's just back marker. It's such a difficult corner in the rain. Guys, oh, tyres then. <laughs> I don't know what any of these corners are. But, oh, I've just noticed it stopped raining. If you look on the bottom left, it's in between the wet, like this intermediate weather um, surface. So, tired fleeing fourth could catch up with Dinky. Obviously, I know the results, but there's a bit of a hint for you. It's a, a good tactic. It's very smooth around these. You can <coughs> you can tell the difference when you go onto a wet part of the track like the curbs because the counter guy shoots up. We'll see, like on this bit, he's uh, very very cautious on that bit. I actually think that tyre screeching is the lag. But he's, uh, he is very smooth on these bits. Yeah, very nice. And this is your race leader at the moment, showing us how it's done. He's still holding on though. I think he's still probably about 10 seconds behind. Just couldn't catch up with Blackie. He was just kept pulling away, pulling away. But you can see... Let's go to a bit of a straight, this bit. You see James is there. And he's on intermediate, so... This is perfect conditions for him. Let's see what his lap time is on for this one. So I should imagine it should be... It's got to be close to two minutes. <coughs> well, it could be two minutes exactly. Yeah, under two minutes. So he's flying at the moment. Three seconds... Two and, a half, two and a half, three seconds he caught me up on that lap. So we'll come back to this in a minute. Just want to see if there's any other battles. No. Oh, Space Cowboys not far from Mark. Mini's just... Oh, no, I think that's the back marker. Mini's just the car behind. Busby, he's still not pitted. I wonder if he's fuel saving. Because he's still got a fair bit of fuel left. If he go all the way without pitting, well done, mate. That's a good tactic. Moldy's not really made any grounds on him. He's still getting faster and faster. So well done, mate. Keep pushing, keep pushing. 
pedal shifter it's not really got anyone anyone around oh really sorry guys this is quite a boring race there is naturally nothing going on all right let's go to let's go for the tired flea you see he's really caught me up I think he's uh this is going to be a 156 it looks even a lot quicker probably a lot quicker than that actually just gonna see what I got so I got a 158.4 a 155.9 so yeah he's flying in that <coughs> and this first corner is probably one of the biggest ones you're gonna catch up on because the speed you go from you need so much grip and uh oh is that oh we've got a couple of battles going on i'll keep an eye on that one for you are they catching oh they're not cat oh space cowboy is catching actually let's just go space cowboy and just we got a bit of action guys and it's at the same time Oh, he's gone for it, he's gone for it. Is there a cut back here? No, well, good overtake there, mate. I can't actually remember when he overtakes me, but... There we go. Nice day done, James. There's your action, guys, those two overtakes. <laughs> but yes i tell you what if you've brave enough certain parts of this track it's under that line so you could put your racing tires back on is there anyone going to be brave enough it's probably four minutes left it's probably not that worth it if i'm honest so says cowboys just leading mark Busby Boyd still not pitted. Oh, <laughs> racing hammers drifting around there. But I have noticed. Ah, Mitt Minnie's pitted because he's got a pit lane penalty, and he was in eighth. But he's uh. Oh yes, it's, it's, a, it's a big gamble, but look, you just watch him. On the, he's on the racing line, and he drifts off into the wet bit. Just can't control it. But I don't think. Oh no, paddle shifter's not far off him, so he's going to have to battle to keep this position. You can't hit those curbs either, because they're just going to spin you. Uh, fair play mate, giving it a go it's definitely worth a try but I think the gap to Moly now, Moly's just coming down there, I think it's too big alright yeah paddle shifter, uh, he's caught up but <coughs> it's too big a gap for two and a half minutes boom raid up Womb Raider, sorry, not Poom Raider. <laughs> yeah, it's not really too much of a big gap. Alright, so P1 Pilgrim is. No, he's, he's going to actually have to do another lap and look at that fuel. And Mark, oh, Mark has really caught him up. Mark cut six seconds off his last lap, so something's happened to uh, P1 boss. We'll come back to that in a little while. Yeah, tired flea's pulling away now. He's flying. Yeah, Space Cowboys holding off Mark. 
I think I'm too far away from Space Cowboy. Busby. Not really in a position to challenge for sixth, but Molly is catching up with Busby. He's, uh, he's taken 10 seconds off the last few laps. What's this lap going to be? He got 158. So 12 seconds he's taken off Busby in that last three laps. So he's, he's on a mission there. Mini is... See, I think he's going to get about two minute those racing tyres. So it's... I don't think it was worth it. Yeah, 159. <coughs> All right, okay, so let's go to P1. Pilgrim, he's gonna have to do another lap. Mark is really caught him up. And I think, yeah, he's gonna run out of fuel. Oh no! Actually, yeah, he did say that. He thought it was the last lap, and he stopped. <laughs> I, I forgot. I forgot about that. Oh, we got to watch that. Let's let's watch it from Mark's point of view. <coughs> Pilgrim thinking he's won the race. <laughs> so he spun it on the line, thinking it's the last lap. He's still got five seconds left. Oh no! But to be fair to him, he did. Run out of fuel, so tired flea is going to finish in third. Oh, I've got a penalty off. Might finish. Oh no, I just got there in fourth. Space Cowboy fifth. Martin sixth. Must be looking. That is a very good race you've done there. You've not fueled, you've not changed tyres, and You've kept at it, so Busby's going to finish in seventh. Molly's unlucky, mate. Maybe another lap. He might have got that seventh. What's his like? So, I was just hoping to see a final lap time. But Mark, Mark, Busby finishes in seventh. Molly eighth. A mini it looks like he's going to hold on to ninth. Handle shifter is going to be 10th, Rim Ranger 11th, Insanity 12th, Racing Hammer 13th, Jacksonville 14th. Now I had to skip this because it was only 90 seconds, so it's going to cut out in a minute, but Mark does win. So well done, Mark. And uh, he ran out of petrol. <laughs> well done, Mark. Yeah, there we go. So that cuts it out. Well, that is race one, guys. And I'll do race two in a bit. All right, bye-bye.